I owe my life really because they're the ones that give us my life basically they put us back on track and made me who I am today. It is a miracle we can say because it, no no way uh, it's not the same boy we have a new boy and we are very happy for it. yeah We don't do rocket science here. What we need to give to these kids is what they haven't had for in their lives. <laughs> it's a reunion neither of them could have imagined just a few years ago. John was a British young offender locked up abroad. Esther was one of those trying to help him, but he was one of the most difficult children they'd ever met. When he was 15 and on a family holiday in Alicante, John robbed a man at knife point and was jailed. But three years here changed him for good. Before I come to this place, I was in England at least eight times, eight different centres, with eight different sentences. And I've come here um, and just the once in Spain, and that's it, they sorted me out, just that one time. Um, I, 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 like It's done the world of good for me. It, it's made me who I am today, basically. <laughs> so how did Spain succeed where the UK failed? The Lazarza Reeducational Centre in southeast Spain is probably the most striking youth prison in the whole of the country. Dangerous offenders are given axes to do gardening. They look after the goats and other animals if they've been well behaved. This is the first time British cameras have been allowed in. We agreed not to show the teenagers' faces. Alex tells us he became a burglar at the age of 11, out of boredom. Now 14, he says he regrets what he did. At the beginning, it's pretty tough. You don't know what you've got until you've lost it. You've got to get used to not having your friends and your family here. It's not like home. You can't eat what you want. You can't go out whenever you want. <laughs> 17 year old Eva is a third of the way through her 10 month sentence for attacking her mum. The judge who sentenced her is visiting today to check on her progress, something that doesn't happen in the UK. <laughs> Being here makes you see how things really are. For example, I was allowed out on Sunday and I saw that if I was good, I could enjoy myself and I didn't have to play up or go crazy. The only time the prisoners are in their rooms is for a 45-minute siesta and overnight. At some young offenders' institutions in the UK, it can be as many as 23 hours a day. Here, they're kept occupied from dawn till dusk. With activities like beekeeping, as well as everything else they've got here, this is miles away from the youth prisons we're used to back in the UK. But the people who run this place insist it's not just about the environment and their surroundings. They say it's about the ethos, and they believe they can bring their philosophy to the UK. <laughs> This sort of secure school with a focus on education and rehabilitation is now being considered by the Ministry of Justice. That's because the charity Digrama claim only 20% of the inmates leaving their Spanish prisons re-offend, much lower than the 67% rate in England and Wales. Digrama, a not-for-profit organisation, now run nearly 40 of these centres across Spain. They say the one thing that makes the difference, above everything else, is the role of their so-called educators. They're a bit like an older brother or sister and join in with activities. Each educator has at least one degree and gives daily direction, discipline 
and endless encouragement to the inmates. You can't constantly be telling them you're bad, you're evil, you've killed someone. We won't get anywhere like that. We have to see the positive and make them aware of the damage they've done. You can't be giving them a hard time from day one about how bad they've been. You also have to realise they can do good. You have to realise they're capable of positive things, however small. By learning to value those things, they'll value their life. It's not all play here. There are 25 hours of classroom lessons, including languages and maths, every week, on top of all the other activities. Unlike in the UK, young offenders serve all their sentence in the same place, helping them build strong relationships with the staff. But just how much does this system cost? Well, Spanish authorities say it's £70,000 per child per year. At similar sized institutions in England and Wales, it's £163,000 per child per year. The explanation is that wages are lower in Spain and these centres employ fewer staff per inmate. They do have security guards, but they have much less to do. It's now visiting time. 15-year-old Cristiano attacked both his parents and put his six-year-old brother in hospital. His mum, Deborah, says it's taken time, but finally her son is accepting the help that's on offer and her family is complete again. We can come out all together and it was, and that we never did that before. So for us, it's very, we, we can say and we can speak about a miracle for us. It's a, it's a miracle. It's a miracle for us, for the moment, and we touch wood. So when, it's a miracle, we can say, because it, no, no way, uh, it's not the same boy. We have a new boy and we are very happy for him, yeah. Of course, there are those who say all this is soft justice, a holiday camp for young criminals who don't deserve it and who should be punished more. This is far away from a holiday camp. I, if you ask any kid here, they would say, I don't want to be here. They are not that fun. But we don't need to um, make them, uh, how I would say, uh, miserable because they have committed a, a crime. Being in a miserable place because they've been miserable, no, what we need to do is to uh, cheer them up in terms of m making them learn. And learning should be a, a good experience. John's return to the centre in Alicante has brought back many memories. It's been an emotional visit. But he's convinced that in the future, the Spanish approach could help the toughest young offenders in Britain. In the position I was in, I was probably one of the worst out of me and all my friends. Um, and then since I've been here, I, I've been um, like, talking to my friends and I've kept quite a few of them out of trouble. They, they, they've changed their ways through through the stuff that I've learned in Spain. So if, if there was a centre, if, they, if there were centres in England where they could learn them ways, the way to go in life, then, then they would have done it themselves, you know what I mean? The British government agrees big changes are needed in the youth justice system. But will it really invest the time and money needed to make this a reality back home?